friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today it is my monthly favorites for the month of April. I had quite a few WW food, low calorie favorites this month, a few household items and some beauty. So I'm so excited to share with you some of the things that I've absolutely been loving over the last month. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you join our community. Hit your subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do these favorites every single month, so I'm always giving you new, fun, and exciting favorite WW foods, home, fitness, beauty, you name it. It's all covered in my favorites video. Check out the description box down below for links for everything that I shared for you today that you can't pick up at your local grocery store. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Let me help you reach your goals by letting you know where you should fall every day as far as macros and calories go. This is a very personalized to you and very, very accurate. So take advantage of that service along with 30 or 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if you're looking for just a little bit more individualized support. Links, discounts to all of my other favorite things, and of course my Facebook group are also in the description box. We'd love to have you come over and join us there as well. So let's jump in to April's favorites. Like I mentioned, I have quite a few WW or low calorie food favorites this month. I've tried lots of new things and I've fallen in love with a lot of new food favorites. The first one I wanna share with you are these Quest Protein Chips and Loaded Taco. Now I know these aren't new, but these are kind of new to me. I've never been a fan of Quest Chips. I don't like the texture, I don't like the taste. I feel like they have a lot of protein aftertaste and I just have stayed away from them. But I saw these on Nutrition's website, so I went ahead and ordered a case of them an entire case I think it was eight or ten bags of the chips and I'm so happy I did these are delicious they legit taste like a taco I like to put these on a taco salad I like to have these as a side with lunch because this little bag right here has a 19 grams of protein. They don't have that weird traditional quest texture or aftertaste. I love these. So I wanted to share them with you if you're like me and you've just never been a fan of quest chips. Give the loaded taco a try. Total game changer. Speaking of tacos, I want to share with you the newest Dax seasoning. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I have been obsessed with Dax for several years now. They are no salt seasonings, no MSG, and completely clean ingredients. So nothing weird, no fillers, no weird sugar or sugar alcohols. They are so delicious and a nice clean spice option. I literally own every single one of their spices, but this is brand new. This is the street taco. So don't get this confused with the taco night, which is another one of their taco types of seasonings. This has a little bit more of an adobo vibe. There's turmeric and cumin and garlic and onion. It's so good. If you like that authentic street taco flavor, this seasoning will give it to you without any added salt. So I really like Dax because you don't have to worry about consuming too much salt or getting that bloated sodium feeling. So definitely pick this up. I will also link some of my other favorite Dax seasonings down below with this one so that you can add a few others to your cart. I shared these apple and caramel packs in a grocery haul video and I really like these. Like I mentioned in that video, if you're following WW, I believe these are five points. I personally would not spend five points on this. However, if you're tracking calories, this is only a hundred calories. It's a great, great sweet treat or dessert because the apples have that little bit of sweetness and tart and then you dip it in the caramel sauce and it's so incredibly good. And I think a hundred calories is perfect for a sweet treat. Again, if you're on WW, I don't know if you want to spend five points, but this is a great treat either way. Speaking of sweet treats, I have to share with you my favorite cookie of all time. Now I picked these up from Imperfect Foods. I'll make sure I link Imperfect Foods down below for you as well with $20 worth of free groceries. It's a delivery service where you can help prevent food waste by food that would generally be thrown away or discarded. You can buy at an affordable price and have it sent to your doorstep. I will say that 
that I've never had rotten food. I've never had food that I wouldn't eat. So I don't know where the imperfectness comes from, but it's just a really affordable, easy way to try new things and have it delivered to your doorstep. So again, I'll link it down below with $20 off your first order. I picked up these Tate's ginger cookies from them. Now I love ginger. If you don't like ginger, you won't like these, but I love crystallized ginger. These are a nice, thin, crispy cookie. They are gluten-free and you can have two cookies for 130 calories, which is not bad at all for two cookies. And they're pretty good sized cookies. I've never seen these at the grocery store. I've seen Tate's, just not this particular flavor. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. Every time I put it in for imperfect foods order in, I add a bag to my cart. I am so excited about these Wyman little fruit cups that I found at Walmart. These are 40 calories and two points and there are two different kinds. I will put the flavors of these two cups here on the screen for you, the yellow and the red, but these are little bits of frozen fruit with yogurt balls, like frozen yogurt balls. So it's kind of a dupe for a Dippin' Dot and it gives you that nice creamy ice cream from the yogurt and that tartness and sweetness from the fruit. I love these and this is a good sized cup for 40 calories or two points as we move into summer in the warmer months this would be such a great sweet treat another ww find i've been loving are these flat outs now i picked these up for a breakfast meal prep i used to eat these a long time ago when i first started my weight loss journey and then i kind of forgot about them and they are so incredibly delicious it's 90 calories for this entire flatbread. It makes excellent pizza. You could roll it up, make it into a wrap. They are really, really good. You also know that I'm obsessed with Verb Energy Bars. I found these on a whim and I have been buying them ever since. I shared them in a previous favorites video with you, but you guys, I have to share this flavor with you. This is the cookie butter. So if you're a fan of cookie butter speculose, these are incredible. They're 90 calories, three points on WW. And not to mention the amazing flavor, they also have 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is the amount that's in a shot of espresso. They are so, so delicious. I use these as a snack when I want a little pick-me-up. They're a great pre or post workout snack and you can't beat them for 90 calories and three points. They're good size, they're soft, they're chewy. And I'm telling you this cookie butter one is one of the best things I have ever, ever tasted. I will put Verb down below. I do have a discount off of their trial pack and you can actually pick your own flavor. So you could pick the cookie butter and try it out. And what I love about them is they actually give you some free bars with your order of other flavors. So you have the option to try a few of their different flavors of bars. So when you reorder, you kind of know what you like or don't like, but the cookie butter is a gazillion out of 10. Another thing that I threw in my cart in Imperfect Foods on a whim were these Gouda cheese bites. I love these. If you love Gouda cheese, these are an exceptional quality of cheese. They're very creamy and milky. They're 70 calories for the little Gouda cheese round. So it's a replacement for a string cheese. Delicious. This is the Roth brand. I've never seen this in my area. Again, I did find this on Imperfect Foods. I'm hoping it sticks around for a while. They do rotate in and out products. So I'm hoping this sticks around because these are some of the best string cheese cheese bites I've ever had. I have to share with you my favorite creamer. Now you guys know that I made the decision a long time ago to not stress about ingredients, calories, points, and creamer. I just want to enjoy my cup of coffee every morning without guilt. So I just use regular, not good ingredients not good for you creamer in my coffee and this funfetti is my favorite this is the Easter packaging but if you like that birthday cake vanilla sweet creamer definitely get your hands on the funfetti it's hands down my very very favorite I find this at Walmart and Fred Meyer which is a Kroger store I've never seen this flavor anywhere else so let us know down in the comments if you find this in what stores you can find this at but highly highly recommend. Next up is another bar. So you guys know that I love Julian Bakery granola. I have three or four flavors in my pantry right now, but I've never tried their bars. And I, when I was ordering my granola, I noticed that they had these primal thin whey protein bars on their website. I went ahead and picked up the sweet cream. These are USDA organic, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, one gram of net carbs, and they're 130 calories. And I believe three points. I'll put that here on the screen for you, but these are really good. Now I will say that the texture and consistency of these bars is very much like the OG power bars. They're that same kind of thick, dense texture and consistency, but 
They have really good flavor. And if you're looking for a low calorie, low sugar, low point bar to have on hand, the Primal Thins are really good. Like I said, they have several flavors on their website. I did get the sweet cream and I would say my honest rating for this bar would be a seven out of 10. I really like it, but I don't love it enough that I would give it a 10 out of 10. But if you want a new bar to try, head on over to Julian Bakery and you can pick up some of the Primal Thin Bars along with your granola. And my last WW food favorites is this beauty right here. And this is the Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Barbecue Sauce. Now, you know, I'm not a proponent of sugar-free, fat-free things. However, I have a hard time with all the sugar in a very little amount of barbecue sauce. I'm not a big fan of the G Hughes. I think it has a weird aftertaste, but one of you actually recommended the Sweet Baby Rays and I tried it and I love it. I don't taste any difference between this and the full sugar calorie dense version of their regular barbecue sauce. You can have two tablespoons of this for 15 calories and it only has one gram of added sugar. It is sweetened with allulose, which I love. It's a naturally derived sweetener from figs and raisins and that is pretty high on the ingredient list so that is the main sweetener in this barbecue sauce but at the very bottom is sucralose aka splenda which I don't love but because allulose is at the top that means that that is the primary sweetener sucralose at the bottom means that there hopefully isn't that much sucralose in this barbecue sauce but nonetheless it is delicious so if you don't like that weird fake sugar aftertaste of G Hughes or some of the other brands recommend the Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added. Now I want to share with you three home favorites. Two are from the online store or brick and mortar store, I think in some areas called Anthropology. The first is these set of knives. I've been using these for a while and I have gotten so many of you that have reached out and asked where I picked these knives up. So it's a set of three knives. You do have like the butcher style of knife, small paring knife and the butcher, but it is serrated. So it's great to cut bread or vegetables. And again, I bought these off of online anthropology. These are some of the best knives I've ever used. They are very sharp. They cut through anything. I could not believe how it glided through chicken breast and tomatoes, which are the two things I struggle cutting if you don't have a really, really sharp knife. My recommendation would be not to wash these in your dishwasher, but hand wash them, especially because they have a wood handle and you should never put wood in the dishwasher, not to mention it really dulls your knives rather quickly. I love the floral pattern on these. And again, these are the best knives I have ever, ever used. And also from Anthropology, when I picked up the knives, I went ahead and bought a set of measuring spoons. I wanted to reach the free shipping threshold and you guys know I love my fun measuring spoons. I absolutely love the pattern of these measuring spoons. I think they are so pretty. And let's be honest, having fun cooking utensils makes preparing meals more enjoyable. So I love these. They're very, very good quality. They are ceramic. They have the floral pattern on the inside and the solid color on the outside. And the last household item I want to share with you, I've actually had this for a couple of months now, and I really wanted to put it to the test before I shared it with you guys because it's expensive. It's a little bit of an indulgent home purchase. But I have to say, after using it now for a couple of months, it is well worth every penny. In fact, I would pay even more for this particular product because it is that exceptional. And this is the Tyne Co. Wet Dry Vacuum for your floors. Now, I saw this on TikTok. It intrigued me, so I watched a million TikTok videos and decided to take the leap and order the Tyne Co. Wet Dry Vacuum. This thing is incredible. It vacuums and mops your floor at once, which I really appreciate because it's a huge time saver. Now I will tell you for me, I clean my house once a week. We do have three dogs, one of which diesel that sheds a lot. So I generally will sweep and or vacuum my floor first before I go in with the Tyne Co. Only because it fills up the dirty water reservoir faster. It gets the hair built up on the brush system that actually vacuums, cleans, and mops your floor. So I like to just get a preliminary hair pickup and debris pickup before I run my Time Co. It has an app associated with it so you can see the process of cleaning your floors. It will remind you to add more soap or to empty your dirty water reservoir, but I do love this. It literally vacuums up everything and it cleans your floors incredibly. My floors have never been cleaner. The first time I used the Tyne Co, 
the entire dial turned red. So when your floors are really, really dirty, it automatically will pick up speed and add a little bit more oomph to mopping so that it can clean up whatever is really dirty, whether it be a spill or dirt tracks. It knows, it senses that your floor is really dirty. And I couldn't believe how dirty my floor was after just regular mopping for so long. Now that I'm using this every single week, I very rarely have it turn completely red. If it's blue, it means that it's just cleaning in your floor is a normal amount of dirty. If it turns red or really red, that means that it's really, really dirty. So the Tyneco senses that and will add some extra cleaning power. It is incredibly amazing. I use the Tyneco cleaning solution. You literally need a cap full for the entire freshwater reservoir. It will talk to you and tell you when you need to fill up the cleaner, when you need to empty the dirty water tank, when you need to clean it, and when it's charging. My favorite part about it is it's cordless. So we have a rather large house. I generally have to plug my vacuum in several times. I generally have to swap my mop pad out midway through mopping and I can do my entire house one charge of the Time Co. So I love it. It was about $400, but I'm telling you that it's worth every penny. My floors have never been cleaner. I will never use a traditional mop again because I feel like it just spreads the dirt and this actually cleans it up. And when you empty the dirty water reservoir, you see the disgusting mess that was cleaned up off of your floor. So highly, highly recommend if you want to save time and be able to vacuum and mop all in one. The last category for April favorites is beauty. If you didn't know already, I recently started a beauty channel called Budget Beauty, where I show you how to look flawless for less. I share a lot of high-end makeup dupes, skincare dupes. I let you know what products you should splurge on and what products you should save your money on. We do makeup tutorials. Definitely check it out. I'd love to have you support my channel and subscribe. I'll make sure that that is linked down in the description box. So because I started a beauty channel, I've been testing out a lot of beauty products. So I have found quite a few favorites. Starting with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is the best makeup primer I have ever used. Your makeup does not move even under a mask, which that is the main reason I picked this up is I heard that it keeps your makeup flawless. Even if you have to wear a mask all day, you add just the smallest amount to your face before you apply your foundation and your foundation stays put all day long. It's a little bit more expensive, but because you use so a very little, it'll last you a very long time best primer I've ever used. Another product that isn't necessarily affordable drugstore is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is a complete complexion game changer. I put a little of this on my face before I start my makeup. So I moisturize in the morning, put a few drops of this on my face, apply my primer and my makeup for the day. And this gives your face such a flawless, gorgeous glow. And niacinamide is really good for your skin. It hydrates your skin, plumps your skin, keeps it looking young, fills in those fine lines and wrinkles. And again, this is a little bit more pricey, but you use one or two drops. So this will last a very long time. And if you like that, that dewy look or you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup just apply this and you'll have that flawless dewy look without a ton of makeup I'm obsessed with this NYX brow glue so I've heard all about the soap brow trend but I'm not really into that fluffy brushed up brow I wanted something that would keep my brows in place because my brows are literal caterpillars and they will just go crazy throughout the day this works so well. So I add my brow pencil, shape my brows the way that I want them, and then I just brush this through my brows and it literally glues them in place all day long, even through a sweaty workout. This is a very affordable, it's a NYX drugstore product. Very, very little of this goes a long way, so this little tube should last months and months. As you can see, I've lightened my hair quite a bit. The last time I got my hair done, we went with a lot more blonde versus the dark. And my hairdresser made a comment that my hair is the healthiest it's been since she's been doing my hair, which mind you was 1997 when she started doing my hair. And I attribute it to using Olaplex products. I use their shampoo, their deep conditioner, their bond strengthening, and their oil. So I'm favoriting their oil this month. I'll share with you guys a little bit more about some of their other products products in future videos, both here and on my beauty channel, but I'm obsessed with this oil. Now, Olaplex is not an inexpensive product, but it is very, very concentrated. So a little goes a very long way. This oil, I add one drop, one, to my hands and I rub it through my hair, either wet, damp, 
or dry and it adds an incredible shine and just bonds your hair together. So if you're someone that colors your hair, suffers from dry, frizzy hair, this is amazing. And literally one drop will do my hair and I have a lot of it. So well worth the money for the Olaplex products. I will be sharing more products that I've been using in future videos. If you're on TikTok, this was all the rage. It actually still is all the rage on TikTok. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Foundation. I've heard mixed reviews about this. I see some videos where people rave about this. I've seen other people who hate this. I love, love, love this foundation. All of the packaging is fully recyclable. It is a full coverage foundation. One swipe on my brush will do my entire face. It is again, full coverage. And if you are oily, I wouldn't recommend this. This is much better suited for normal to dry skin. It stays all day. I don't find that it wears bad throughout the day. It doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. And it's so full coverage and a little goes a long way that this foundation, I've used this dozens of times and I've barely made a dent in it. So highly, highly recommend. I will be sharing a dupe to this on my beauty channel, but for the time being, pick up the Good Apple Foundation if you have normal to dry skin. You know I love my lashes and I'm always on the hunt for fun, affordable, different lashes. And again, I saw this on TikTok and this is actually the second one that I've purchased. This is the Kiss Fall Scara. Now these are very different from traditional glue-on lashes. You can see that they are little individual pieces and you actually tuck these under your natural lash, not on your lid. This kit comes with everything that you need. There's the lashes, this is the bond and the setting material, as well as the tweezers to apply the false lashes. And like I mentioned, they actually sit under your lashes, not on top. There's no messy glue you have to wipe off your eyelids. You brush on the bond side of the wand here, you apply the lash, and then you set it with the setting side. This is about $20. I bought it at Ulta. You guys, if you like a more natural eyelash and you don't want to mess with glue-ons or magnetic lashes, these are really, really affordable. You can use the lashes more than once and they are very, very natural. This is a volumizing type of lash. So it's just going to give your natural lashes more volume. These are my favorite on no makeup days or days that I don't really want to put on lashes or eyeliner. These really just bring a lot of life to your eyes. They're great for summer if you're camping or going to the beach and again they look very natural they just add a lot of volume and last but not least my beauty favorites has to be rounded out with a new favorite eyeshadow palette I picked this up on the Sephora sale this is the Huda Beauty Caramel Palette look at these colors it's very neutral it is a nine pan palette there's mattes there's shimmers there's even this pretty swirled pressed shimmer there's some pressed glitters i love it because it's a very neutral natural palette those browns those rich chocolate browns with a little bit of shimmer i've used this quite a few times i've gotten lots of compliments from you guys as well as people in my day-to-day -day life it's 29 dollars for this palette but you can create endless looks with this i picked it up from sephora i don't believe ulta sells huda beauty but i will link whatever cheapest option i can find down in the description box but if you're into neutral warm palettes this one is phenomenal so those are my april favorites we had ww foods home beauty a little bit of everything once again i will link everything other than store-bought food items down in the description box for you so if you enjoyed today's favorites video give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed i'd love to have you here hit the subscribe button ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do these monthly favorites every month, so there's lots of new fresh ideas coming your way every single month. Check out the description box for links for everything I shared today, as well as all of my other favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy May, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!